Hi, my name is Ken Schwartz of Precise Sharpening and what I'm going to be doing in this video is to be demonstrating a very basic conceptualization of how one sharpens a knife and maintains a constant bevel angle as you approach the tip of a knife, particularly a curved knife. So for this purpose I've made a, a sort of mock demo knife to more easily illustrate the concept. And here's this beautiful knife, my first attempt at knife making. Uh, didn't use cardboard because I wanted something a little sturdier. So what I've done is I've put marks along this 45 degree bevel perpendicular to the edge. Now you'll notice that as I go around the curve I'm also maintaining a perpendicular to the edge. So this is called, this is going to show where the tangent to the edge is. So the tangent is like this along a straight line, very simple and straightforward. The tangent is perpendicular to this at each point. So right there, right there, right there, right there, right there. So what you want to do when you sharpen is to be perpendicular to the tangent of your edge as you abrade across the surface. So this is the motion that you would do if the edge is at the same bevel angle as what you want to be sharpening. So here we go. It's like this, like this, like this. And then you come around and pivot. And you'll notice that this stays in a horizontal plane during the entire procedure. So like this, like this, like this, like this, like this. All right, and for a perfectly continuous curve that doesn't change, you're pivoting about the center of this circle. All right, where it's a constant radius curve. Okay, so you're pivoting. Again, like this, and a pivot. Now, what I want to demonstrate is when you switch to a horizontal surface, you do exactly the same motion. But when you do it on a horizontal surface, surface, you wind up lifting the knife. Now, there are all sorts of confusing comments about how one lifts the knife to follow the curve. And the answer is just as simple as it is at this angle. Okay, you follow the perpendicular to the tangent. Okay, this tangent. Okay. Now, what I want to show is if I change this angle to horizontal, Approximately. I'm not going to bother measuring it for right now. Okay. There we go. Horizontal. Alright. You follow exactly the same motion. Now, what you're doing is you're going along here, and then you have to raise the knife to come up and pivot along this motion. Now, it's not lifting the knife. It's not doing all kinds of contortions and poorly explained ideas. You are simply following and raising, but you're still in the same plane. Okay, you're still in this plane. Okay, this motion, very simple. So, I'll show you what it looks like flat and in a slope. Okay, so flat, we're talking about going like that. Okay. And again, if we are at, and I'll do this approximately a 45 degree angle, same thing, but now we maintain a horizontal position. It's the same motion exactly, but for, for me, and once you get used to it, I find it a lot more convenient to maintain horizontal than to make a lift 
when the, when the stone or the surface is flat. So this motion is a very natural motion because you're staying in this same plane. Otherwise, you have to lift up and expect that your lift will exactly go at the same rate as the angle of the edge changes, this curvature changes. Uh, thank you for your attention, and I hope you enjoyed the video, and that it explained the concept pretty well.